Welcome to the Wavebox What's New Bulletin. Let's get you up to speed on the latest developments and new features in April 2023. April has seen two essential Chromium updates, and following the re-release of Brainbox in March there's been a flurry of ChatGPT updates. We've also made some improvements to the Sleep Engine and added some new features including Site Search. Let's take a look. First, we have some new updates to Brainbox. You can now switch between Brainbox conversations using the new chat drop-down menu. All your conversations are saved, and flows are better preserved, so you can ask follow-up questions and get better contextual replies. You can also now stop a reply, retry it, and include the page or contents of your clipboard to get better results. And if you want access to GPT-4, click on the Manage Engines option, then paste in your API key to add the option to the engine drop-down. Next, there's an update to global sleep settings. First, activate the new AI sleep engine to keep Wavebox running smoothly. Open settings, select sleep, and then click the try button to enable it, followed by a restart. You can also tweak the global tab sleep settings using the new sliders to free up memory from inactive tabs. This gives active tabs and other apps more resources and provide a consistent performance. You can also exclude websites from sleep and activate the power saver mode to turn off memory hungry features and extend battery life when you're out and about. Next, site search, where you can search apps directly from the address bar. Type the app name, hit tab, and then enter your search term. You'll get instant results from the site. And right-clicking on a link will use the engine rules to open the link in the correct app. Apps you can site search now include Reddit, Wikipedia, Twitter, Figma, GitHub, and your Google accounts. But it's super easy to add site search support for your own favorite apps. Check the Wavebox knowledge base for more details on how to create your own site searches and settings. Next, a new keyboard shortcut for the WebDoc. Hold down the Shift key and click on the WebDoc Mode button to expand and collapse your dividers, groups, apps, tabs, and tab folders. This new shortcut works on both List and Explorer layouts, to speed up navigation and boost productivity. Also new this month are new cross-container link engine rules. Unique to Wavebox the link engine enables you to follow links as you work across apps, and we have some new settings for cross-container rules. Go to Settings. And find the Link Engine section. Then click on the Customize Link Engine Rules button. Find a rule for any app. And click on the Edit icon. When selecting both the new tab and new window open options, you will find a new checkbox for cross-container linking. Check the box and choose the correct container for that link rule, and click on Save to activate the changes. We also have improvements for badges in custom web apps. Right-click on any custom app. And go to App Settings. Then look for the Badges and Notifications section, where you can find new options for automatically detecting new items and including them in the unread badge count. And you can check out the blog to learn how to enter regular expressions for other websites. Finally, we've added another quick way to create a group. You can create a new group in Wavebox by clicking on the plus icon in the WebDoc. You can also right-click on an app in the top toolbar. And selecting move to a new group from the menu. And now you can also create a new group by right-clicking on any link. And selecting the open in a new group options from the menu. The new group will instantly appear in the web doc, ready for you to rename customize and create another time-saving workflow. That's all for this update. Subscribe at Wavebox.io for the latest news, and visit Wavebox.io slash download to begin your Wavebox journey. Thanks for watching and see you next time.